Hi, today I want to show you how we make liquid soap paste at home. It dissolves into this beautifully clear soap liquid that we use to do dishes and hand wash our clothes. So first we'll be making the recipe. As we know, soap is made by combining a lye solution with oil. In the case of liquid soap, we'll be using the lye potassium hydroxide, as known as KOH. We'll be using coconut oil in this recipe and adding to it a 1% of superfat. Excess superfat in a liquid soap recipe tends to result in oil lye separation, so we prefer it at a low 1%. Coconut oil has a potassium hydroxide saponification value of 0 0.253. Each oil has a different sap value, so please do your own research. The lye we will be using has a purity of 90%. Now we have everything we need to calculate the amount of potassium hydroxide necessary. First, take the amount of oils you're using, times it by its sap value, and then divide it by purity of lye, and times it by 100% minus superfat. And that gives us 84.81 grams. As for the water to lye ratio, we have chosen a ratio of 3 to 1. To calculate the amount of water needed, take the amount of KOH and times it by the water to lye ratio. And here, we get 254.43 grams of water. And that gives us our final recipe. To double check our calculations, we like to use the website soapmakingfriend.com. Now it's time to move on to tools and materials and the steps we take when making soap. You can find a downloadable PDF version of this entire recipe. Check out the link in the description. The tools and materials you will be needing today are some safety gear such as goggles, a mask for the fumes, and some rubber gloves. Be sure to also wear some long sleeves. As for scales, you can use one with a 0.1 gram precision or one with 1 gram precision. Today I'll be using the one with a 1 gram precision. Have your recipe nearby as well. Most importantly, you'll be needing some coconut oil and some potassium hydroxide. You also need some lye safe stirring utensils and containers made of materials such as stainless steel, polypropylene, and silicone. As I'll be using the scale with only 1 gram precision, I'll be rounding my water amount up and rounding the potassium hydroxide amount down. The first thing we will weigh out is water. Take a lysate container and tear the scale. And here I have 255 grams of water. Put it aside and cover it with a lid. The next thing we'll measure is coconut oil. And here I have 300 grams of coconut oil. And lastly, we will measure potassium hydroxide. For this part, we will be putting our safety gear on, rubber gloves, goggles, and mask. Use a dry, lye-safe container and tear the scale. And here I have 84 grams of potassium hydroxide. Now it's time to pour your lye into the water. Cover it with a lid to protect yourself from the fumes. It will get hot, so be careful. And be mindful to never pour water onto lye. Let all the lye dissolve properly, and we will move on to the next step. Now we'll be pouring the lye solution into our oils. Pour it down the shaft of a spatula to prevent it from splashing. And start stirring. Within a few minutes of stirring, you'll see that the color will start to get creamier. This is a good sign. Afterwards, the texture will also start to get thicker. This is after about 15 minutes of stirring. As you can see, it's already quite thick. And this is after 30 minutes of stirring. It may take longer or shorter, depending on factors such as your room temperature and your batch size. You may stop stirring at this stage, as the lye has already emulsified completely with the oils. To insulate it, cover it with some foil and a towel, and let it sit to saponify for at least 12 hours before checking back. After 15 hours, this is what it looks like. 
As you can see, it has formed into a hard paste, but the color itself is still quite creamy. And if you let it sit for about three weeks, the color will turn more translucent. If you use the soap paste right now without letting it rest for a few weeks, its pH might still be a bit high and it might not be very gentle on your skin. So we recommend putting it in an airtight container and letting it rest. And now I will show you how to dilute your soap paste into liquid soap. So first, weigh it out. If you want a stronger soap to wash tougher stains and dishes, dilute it with a ratio of 1 to 1 soap paste to water ratio. But if you want a gentle hand washing liquid soap, then dilute it with a 1 to 2 soap paste to water ratio like I did here. Put it aside to let it dissolve. It will dissolve overnight, but at first the liquid will be a bit cloudy. If you let it sit for a few days, it will become quite a clear liquid soap. This is where you would add fragrances if you so desire. And here I'm demonstrating to you how it lathers. The soap paste will keep indefinitely. This is how we make liquid soap at home. We hope you learned something new. Let us know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.